Using the Inner Cello Inventor browser integration, you can perform almost all actions from within Inventor. In this video, we will look at the following actions. Browsing the assembly structure, highlighting parts and sub-assemblies, changing document workflow, and viewing information about a document. When you open an assembly in Inventor, the default panel is Model. To switch to the Inner Cello panel, simply click on Model and select InnoCello from the drop-down menu. The InnoCello panel has a number of different elements. Firstly, there is a small toolbar with the following buttons. Refresh Browser, Rebuild 3D View, Highlight in Browser, and Highlight in Model View. Just under the toolbar is the InnoCello browser. Assemblies will be shown in a tree-like structure to physically show how the references relate to one another. Next to each document, you can see an icon to indicate the document's current state. Documents without an icon are released. The last element of the Inner Cello browser is the context menu. You can simply right-click on a document to bring up the context menu. We will be covering the context menu and some of its commands a bit later in the video. First, let's have a look at the toolbar. The first two buttons relate to refreshing the assembly in both the 3D view and the InnoCello browser. If you want to make sure you are looking at the latest version in the InnoCello browser, simply click the first button. To ensure that the 3D view is up to date, you can press the second button. If changes have been made to the assembly while you had it open, they can be seen in Inventor after pressing these two buttons. In some cases, you may have a very large assembly open. To help in navigating the assembly and finding parts or sub-assemblies, a highlighting system exists in the Inner Cello browser. For instance, you may select a part in the 3D view and want to know which document it is in the browser. With the part selected in the 3D view, simply press the third button to highlight it in the browser. The opposite is also true. If you select a document in the browser and press the fourth and final button, the part or subassembly will be highlighted in the 3D view. Without needing to switch to the Inner Cello client, the workflow of a document can be changed from within Inventor. To accomplish this, Simply right-click on the desired document and select the Workflow submenu. Depending on the current state of the document, you can select the next step in the workflow. Not only can you change the document workflow from the context menu, you can also retrieve extra information about the document. For instance, the document properties, the revisions of the document, and the assembly structure. This has been an overview of the functions available in the Inner Cello Inventor browser integration. More information on this functionality can be found in the Inner Cello user guide. Thanks for watching.